this is a perfect opportunity for you if you're interested in data science to become a data scientist in the cloud and make yourself even more employable and stand out. Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. My name is Yulia, I make videos about data science and my life in tech. I'm currently a cloud solution architect at Microsoft and most of my videos are about helping people get into data science or be successful with data science. The video that I'm making today has been long requested and it's probably going to be one of the cornerstones of this channel. Today we're talking about how to learn data science from zero to as much as possible being an expert at it. Now I've been postponing making this video because I didn't want it to be generic and something that already exists out there. There's a lot of great resources about how to learn machine learning or data science on YouTube. Tina's video, for example, is a great resource and kind of the way I would have approached it as well with the minimize effort, maximize impact kind of way. So I didn't want to go ahead and remake something like that. What I do want to share with you today is how to learn data science in a cloud native way or an enterprise ready way. There's a lot of titles that I was playing with, but mainly the point that I want to make is how to do data science in this new age where a lot of companies are going to the cloud. It's a huge business. It's a huge trend that's here to stay and a lot of jobs are in it. So you need to be able to understand and use cloud technologies. So I want to make sure that you also have a path of learning data science this way. So why cloud? As you've probably seen in the news, it's something that a lot of companies are getting into with some of the biggest ones being Microsoft, Amazon and Google. If you've recently seen Microsoft's earning reports, for example, cloud is the biggest growing sector out of its entire business portfolio. It's something that is growing faster than people can get on board with. That means companies are all trying to migrate to the cloud and employees are trying to learn how to use cloud technologies to keep up with all the new workloads. So this is a perfect opportunity for you if you're interested in data science to become a data scientist in the cloud and make yourself even more employable and stand out. Now, is data science in the cloud different than normal data science? Yes and no. The basis is the same. You have the same foundational uh, things that you need to learn, like the theory behind data science and machine learning models, how you can program, how you can understand the math and what your objectives are and relating that to the business as well. But then on top of it, you have some cloud specific knowledge about, of course, working with the cloud technologies and the products that exist only in the cloud making sure you know your way around virtual machines and deploying models in a cloud environment, the way that that can scale, the cost optimization and everything that is more specific to the cloud. So we're going to start with a baseline uh, that anyone can follow if you're new to data science, but then we're also going to get into these additions that if you're already an established data scientist, but new to the cloud, that's also very valuable for you. For today, I'm going to be using a lot of Azure documentation and resources because again, that's what I'm most familiar with and that's what I can vouch for because that's what I use in my day-to-day -day life as well. And that's what all my clients use also. So I'm making this video now because you already had all these resources kind of floating around the internet, but I have to admit they were pretty hard to find and pretty hard to put together into one path that you can easily follow and uh, have your journey made out for you. But that is a thing that exists today. So I'm going to show you where all the resources are and how you can start on a four week journey to becoming a cloud expert. So on the Microsoft websites, you now have a data science zero to hero four week path and an AI for developers path. I would do both honestly, because I think both of them are quite good for people who want to do data science and machine learning. AI and data science kind of intersect in a lot of business situations, but today I'm mainly going to focus on the data science path. So what does this look like? If you go on the website, you can first see this whole page that has been created just for this journey, where you can find uh, different business use cases. So you get an idea of real life application. You can find a section with videos about data science fundamentals that are made by Seth, which are pretty good. And they explain the concepts really well with a lot of animation and short snackable videos. But the focus for us, it's going to be this document that is basically a big PDF with a lot of external links that bring all the information together. You can see it's been structured into a four week path where every week you have a different subject. 
The four week topics are going to be fundamentals of machine learning, learn the essentials of building models with Python, which is the most popular data science language, arguably. You can also do it with R, but I mainly use Python. Then we have acquire skills to operationalize machine learning models. This is more into the, the clown mindset, but it's something that of course you would do as a non-cloud data scientist as well, but specifically on focusing on cloud technologies. And then finally, we have scaling your ML skills with Spark, which is a great way to distribute the, the code that you create and make it a lot more efficient also. So if you go through this, you will first learn how to be a machine learning data scientist, and then you'll have all these extra skills on top that you can add to your CV. You can do some projects using them to showcase that you really have an understanding of it, or you can already just use the fact that you follow these paths. You have all these certificates that come out of it and badges that you can use to show employers that you have put the time in to do this training. So besides knowing these skills, you also have a way to showcase it. So to give you an example of the first week, you'll be going through data analysis, training a regression, classification, clustering, and deep learning models, which should cover quite a bulk of it. So this is you creating models by yourself. And for the second path of the week, you have some cloud concepts like the AutoML and designer features from Azure where you don't need to code to create machine learning models. So it's very good for you to understand how those models are created and how you can put them into practice, but also to see that there's a lot of cloud services out there that can help you make it even faster. But you have to have a foundation in order to be able to do that. Each of these modules has its own page where you can go through the exercises one by one. You read the theory, you put the things into practice, and then you take a test. So you know you finished that module and you go back to the PDF and you can check it off successfully. So there you have it. You can open this document, go through it week by week, read about all these concepts at your own pace, skip the ones you don't think are relevant or that you're already familiar with, or go through it one by one the way that it's recommended. What I really like about it is that you can make your own journey. You can either mix and match and pick what works for you, or for those who don't have any idea where to start and want to have a more structured approach, you can follow it as intended and still finish being an expert in four weeks. Or you can spread it out even longer if you have to study at the same time or work on something else so you can learn in your own time. And if you finish all of this, you can move on to the AI for developers path that is pretty much the same concept and the same structure. It's just more focused on AI technologies than on machine learning, but they complement each other quite nicely. And that's it. Hope you guys will try out this method. Let me know in the comments if you're starting on this journey, what you found most useful, what you don't like so much, what your progress is. And if you have any questions, I'll be happy to try to help you along, or maybe the rest of the community will also jump in and we can all learn to be better data scientists for the cloud together in 2021. I also have a data science on Azure series I'm working on where I explain a lot of cloud concepts that also have to do with the real life business of doing data science. And I have some videos of presentations that I give out around Azure machine learning if you want to see an end to end example of a project. I also make fun videos sometimes. It's not all about learning. So whatever it is, check out the rest of the videos on the channel. Subscribe if you're interested and I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.